Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about the title field. The title field or title column is always available in all document libraries and all lists. And since it's the basic of all the content types in SharePoint, you will want to make sure that that is properly filled out. In the file system, though, the title field is hardly relevant. You can bring it up by right-clicking in the column header here and just selecting title and you'll see that actually some of these documents do have a title but most of them don't. So in most cases when you drag and drop files or import files into SharePoint the title field will not be there and most companies have spent a lot of work and time and effort and thought even in making sure that the file name is okay, that it does give some information right away. But the title field has often been ignored, so that's something that you might want to deal with. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing that. The first way to do it is, of course, to actually make it visible. So if I drag a file in here, you'll notice that it says projects. It does not say the title there. I don't see it. But if I modify the view to show the title also, I can remove the modified information there for now. You'll notice that it does actually pick that up. So, but you might not want that. You might it to be this, want it to be the same because you know, that will give you more predictable search results. So you might want to overwrite the title with the name of the file, or you might have want to have some other rule for how, what the title should contain because it's such a prominent search field. So if you search for something that's in the title, that is going to end up among your first hits. Another reason to do this is that you might have information in the title that's in the template because if you use word templates then that template might often have the title and you might get inheritance from that so when you create many instances of the title you might have many documents with different file names of course but with the same title so that makes it difficult to search also. So I'm going to create a workflow now that whenever you make a change to a document, it's going to set the title to the same as the name of the file. You might find that useful. I'm going to start by doing that now. So I'm going to copy the path to the site that I'm on, the HR site, and then I'm going to open that site. Go into sites here, open site, and just paste in the link that I just copied there. And now I am in the HR site with SharePoint Designer 2013, which is the tool I'm going to use to set the title, of course. So I'm going to go into the library, which is named um, Documents, and there I'm going to create a new workflow. I'm going to call out Set Title, and I'm using a SharePoint 2013 workflow here. You could do the same thing, almost exactly the same, with the SharePoint 2010 workflow also. So as usual in the SharePoint 2013 workflow, I'm going to start by the go to action. There we go. Go to a stage and just type go there and the workflow. And then I'm going to run an action here. And that action is going to run all the time. So um, I'm not going to have a condition here. I'm always going to set that. So or actually, let's do a condition too. So if the value of the title field does not equal the name of or the value of the file name. In that case, we'll do an action to set field in the current item. I'm going to set the title to the value of the name of the file. And then I'm just going to go back one step here and allow this workflow to start automatically when I'm created or when it's changed. So I'm going to publish that now. And now I will go in and change something in this document. I'm going to edit the properties of the document. Of course, that will make a change. So I'll go into properties of the document, call it projects2. And now you see I get a column here for the name of my workflow, set title. And in a few seconds we should see that running. It is at stage one. And there we go, now I have the name and the title to the same thing. So there you see the workflow running. Now this 
type of workflow that I just created was a list workflow connected directly to a list or document library. In the next demo, I'll create a reusable workflow that does the same thing. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.